you would take what somebody else said, throw it in the air, stud it with diamonds and let it fall to the table a piece of brilliance. Once a collector, always a collector, you have to keep buying. That's what life is all about, spending money as fast as you can. Oscar Wilde has become an incredible part of my life. It's part of what I do every day. You know, I've become a wild collector. Tragedy always makes a good story. There is nothing about Wilde which isn't sort of fascinating looking back on it. He claws his way up. He wanted to be famous. He reached the pinnacle of social and financial success. And then you had this awful crash where everything fell down. It's a great drama. And it continues to be a drama. It continues to be fascinating. The idea that you could buy things didn't really occur to me until a bit later. And in fact, I went to a chap who was, was a great expert in Yates and I asked him about Oscar Wilde. Oh, he said, Oscar Wilde is only famous for being locked up and being gay and, you know. And I sort of blinked a couple of times. And then slowly from that day on, I've noticed that Wilde's actual work has become more and more recognised as being quite extraordinary and probably brilliant. Cerrone was the great celebrity photographer. He photographed everybody. In fact, he waived his fee to photograph Oscar because there was this exotic creature. Now, don't forget that Oscar was very little known in England this time, let alone in America. All the letters that I've got all have some of Wilde's character in them. But why I bought this letter is quite obvious to me. It says, Dear Sphinx, you are more than all the criticisms. I have merely to thank you again and again for your desire to sound in my honour a daffodil-shaped horn. Well, actually, this captures an absolute moment. The importance of being honest is just played, and it's alarming to think a month later he was in prison. It was an incredible experience which nothing survived of the old wild because how could you write about such flippant things as fairy stories when you've seen such awful hardship? Why did he not run away? He was given the opportunity, and I've only ever heard one thing which struck me as at all plausible. He was asked in a play by Hare called The Judas Kiss, he's asked why he doesn't flee, and he said, if I run away, the wild story is over. If I stay, the story continues.